now <clears throat> people have uh, because of this materialistic world has overtaken everyone and changed their need from from the real needs to the materialistic needs why the reason why i'm saying is that people have gone from natural way to artificial way so much that they don't know how to survive they need medicine for everything if they've got headache they'll go on they'll take a med me medication if they have sleep disorder they'll take medication if they have this they have that they'll go on medication straight away but guys this is not how it should work you should not have this these type of problem in the first place why do you have these type of problem because you're gone away from the nature itself mother nature mother earth is there to give that's what she does that's why she's called mother earth she gives right so if you'll go back to your mother as a child she'll take care of you she will not let anything happen she will not let anything happen to you you see the animals which live in jungles right they have no vehicles they have no uh, communication artificial communication they have no uh, nothing artificial but they survive they live and they never suffer from these uh, things when we were living in we were living as a caveman before we we invented all these artificial gadgets and stuff we never had such thing called uh, chronic diseases we never had such thing called depression we never had such thing called social um, withdrawal like we are not communicating with people nowadays everything is on phone or on laptops and stuff so we have isolated ourselves which is uh, responsible for causing most of the negative in our life nowadays okay so very first thing is you need to learn how to do how to ground your energy right grounding your energy is a very simple it's a very simple process but it needs practice all right so grounding uh, the energy also includes like when you're connecting with mother earth you walk on grass barefoot now, every time you have very strong pressure in your brain because of some thought which is going in your head and it's causing you uh, trouble in making right decisions and stuff the best thing is in the morning early morning or in the evening just walk on the grass and let every thought out of your body you imagine that every thought negative thought or destructive thought or any thought which is causing you issue is going leaving your brain going through your shoulders from your shoulders to your to your navel area from navel area to your, to your thighs from thighs to your foot and from your foot it's going back to mother earth and then fresh energy from the mother earth the golden energy is coming from there and it is going through your legs and navel area and your stomach and your chest and your shoulders and it go it is going back to your brain okay so th these are very common techniques and you can find a lot of videos on it how to grind and connect with mother earth <clears throat> spend more time with nature try to planting and you know um go and spend some time within the natural environment where you got trees and plants and animals you know. breathing technique 478 now breathing technique 478 is derived from the ancient hindu uh, culture yoga um, which is a, a very uh, specific breathing technique so which uh, this technique includes that you inhale from your nose where counting four within your within your heart just count to four and inhale through your nose stop your breath for count of seven then release exhale the breath from your mouth making a sound with the count of eight okay so that will help you because brain works the fuel for brain is oxygen and because in the modern society the more we are going into a, more we become adult we have we don't breathe correctly we don't breathe completely okay so when you breathe completely you hold breath 
and you release the entire you exhale the entire breath out of your body so what it does is it brings all the oxygen in and removes all the carbon dioxide off your, out of your body so your brain works if the main fuel of your brain is oxygen so when you'll give more oxygen to your brain your brain will become more relaxed and it will function on a on a very better or enhanced capability um, regular physical exercise or yoga so you can spend 15 minutes in the morning just just make it regular 15 to 20 minutes that's more than enough um, for a normal person if you want to increase your time that's up to you but do at least 15 minutes uh, eat healthy a healthy and natural diet now <clears throat> I am vegetarian myself, so I always, always recommend people to eat vegetarian because it's coming from nature. Um, you're not um, killing an animal because when you kill an animal, what happens is the emotions they go through, it's embedded in there into their meat and then you eat that meat, those emotions come into your body. They become integrated with your emotions and then you have mixed emotions, you have pain, you respond more to pain and depression, all that kind of stuff. So try to eat uh, natural food, um, more vegetables and uh, fruits and stuff. Avoid or disconnect with negative people and houses. Now, this is very important. The moment you realize that someone is have a very negative influence to you, uh, try to be disconnected with them don't respond sometimes what happens is it's really hard to just stop the conversation and just move out in that case you you in some of the cases like if you're dealing with a lawyer if you're dealing with a property manager if you're dealing with a real estate agent or if you're dealing at a shop or something you can't just you have to communicate with them you have to be with them so in those cases what happens is Prepare yourself before, like, if, if you know that this, this person who's talking to you, even though he's talking very nicely, but he's uh, sucking out the energy out of you. So start saying into your into your head, just repeat it, that um, my energy does not belong to anyone. It belongs to me and me only. So just keep on repeating that. The moment you're finished with that person, go back uh, to... Uh, to you. When you go back to your home before going to sleep, just go and walk Again, connect with the Mother Earth and ask Mother Earth to refill with the energy which you have lost. So if you have lost a lot of energy in dealing with these type of people on a daily basis, just go and rejuvenate yourself by going back to Mother Earth, by doing grounding practices and stuff. So when you go and sleep, you're not uh, deprived of positive energy. So... If you are deprived of positive energy and you've got a lot of negative energy, when you go back to bed, what will happen is you will have nightmares, you will have um, uneasiness, you will have um, sleeping problem and stuff. So before doing that, just go back to Mother Nature, do some grounding, connect with Mother Mother Earth and let Mother Earth refill you with the positive energy and then you go back to bed. You'll find yourself um, at complete ease and it will change your life. Um, and another thing is maintain cleanliness, maintain cleanliness, personal and surroundings. So make sure that you, um, you, you take showers. Now, the reason why we take shower is, um, not just for hygienic purposes, but we are made, uh, the human body is made like 75 to 80% of, of water. So when we, when we shower in water, what it does is it removes all the negativity, which is the, the negative energy. It cleans us, uh, with that as well. So when you're taking shower, when the shower is, you know, when you're standing underneath the shower, the water goes from your head to toe, just imagine at that time you just imagine that all the negativity which was in your head it is going from your head going from your toe and it is going with the water and you're flushing all the negativity out so after taking the shower you should feel uh, not just physically refreshed but you should feel energetically you should feel refreshed um, surrounding is very important for clean to clean because when the dust settles in the house what it does is it it does not allow positivity to enter or stay 
it captures the the energy which is there and it will keep it there so it's very important to keep on flushing the energies just by cleaning the house and open your house and let the sunlight come into your house um if the sunlight doesn't come into house what you can do is early morning you can keep a glass of water into uh, exposed it to the sun when the sun during the dawn uh, early morning so let the fresh uh, rays of light coming from the sun falls on that water for 15 to 20 minutes once you have got that water it is called that water will be energized with the positivity positive energy or bright energy then what you can do is you can spray that water around your house um so this will help you to remove the negativity um from your house as well well thanks for watching please uh, like and subscribe